he's Travis. He's Jonathan. Sit back, relax, and join the fun. He's Jonathan. He's Travis. When they're on TV, they'll have us. Mesmerize, can't believe your eyes. They'll take the prize from those other guys. There are a million things that they could be. Like a cobbler. Or a Mormon. Or, or a sassafras tree. But they're so darn entertaining. Be thankful they're on TV. is the Travis and Jonathan Show. Get ready, get set to learn a thing or two. At the mall, at the courthouse, at the campus, or the zoo. There's so many things that they might do. Or get your kids out of bed so they, they can, can watch, watch it too. They'll win your heart. They'll make you smile. So watch their show. It's worth your while. It's the Travis and Jonathan Show. Fantastic, a uh, great show. <laughs> what is something in there? Something flew in my cup. What happened? I don't know, it's like a bug. Oh, I've got to tell you something. You know, I got that web TV. Oh, the web TV. Told you about yes, the web that's TV. That's great. So you're on the internet? I'm on the internet, and I'm telling you, I couldn't live without it. I've only had it for two weeks, and it's amazing. It's you like, know what I love on the internet? What's that? Yahoo. Yahoo is good. Because you can search for things. And Whatever you want to look for. I mean, it's amazing. I've never had. See, I'm computer illiterate, and I'm just now learning. I know you've had a computer for a while. Yeah. And you're the one who turned me on to eBay. Oh, eBay is great. I got a Grace Kelly mouse pad for I went on $13. eBay for the first time, and I did some bidding. I finally got me something the first time I got something. Uh -huh. Let me show you. This is fantastic. This well, what did you get? Is the wave of the future. Did you get more action figures? No, no, no. I don't. They give me action figures. Here, look. Uh huh. Let me get what this is that? out. This, my friends is an aroma therapy lamp. Can you see this? Hang on, I get this, this is stuff some out of the way. contraption. Wait, how much did you this. pay for this? I'm not gonna get into how much I paid for it. I got it, it was a sweet deal, I'll put it that way. I bid on it, there was a bunch of people from all over the country, that's what's so weird about the internet, and everybody's bidding on right, it. Right, all those weird people. It came in yesterday, and I figured I'll make it a surprise, bring it on the show for all of you guys and for you, and we'll take a look at it. It looks like a colander. Here, let me show you how it works. Now, what this is, aroma therapy, is a, the what smell, kind of aroma, smell, aroma, therapy. Oh. The five senses, touch, feel, seeing, believing, believing, and smelling. Smelling. Let me show you how this works. This is fantastic. Now we have all oh, these are different. Off. All these are different scents and different smells. Oh. Hi, Hi. Folks, how, how are you? you? Good to see you. And um, if you look here, this is eucalyptus, which is that clears you up. Eucalyptus. It's a soothing Why? thing. A lot of massage therapists use this. A lot of people use this. And if you just go through and look at it, you put on your I'm going to put in vanilla. Is what I'm going to put in. Because Great. that's vanilla. I'm going to put in vanilla. Oh, here's citronella. 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 You sprinkle it in the top. Now here, 
I don't I think you can smell it just from me I think what you're smelling but is no what after the lamp is on for a while then you'll be able to smell it I mean you'll really be able to smell it is it batteries uh, no can you touch it do you touch it well it's not when it heats up you don't oh. want to touch it but right well, how now, hot does this get because that's important if you have children I don't know well it says back here on the back it says 15 watts I don't know but I can already smell it a little bit Pet Safari. Do you remember Pet Safari? Oh, that was great. With it was the fantastic. It was the, fantastic. The, uh, uh, the, uh, the Bonnie. Bonnie. Well, Bonnie was our 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 server. Or, no, the dog was. The dog was was named Bonnie. Let's take a let's go to, to Pet Safari. Well, what was and that girl's name? There was that girl there. That there was Holly and Bonnie. I don't Holly. I think smell it now. Know. Smell it. I'm serious. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Jonathan Shockley. And I'm Travis Harmon. And we are here at the Safari Pet Resort in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And uh, we're going to take a tour and uh, see what sort of pet goings on they have here. And I believe over here we have Bonnie. Bonnie, you, you want to come over here to the, to the, this is Bonnie and she's going to be our tour guide. Hi. Hi, how are you? So let's get started. And so now what's going on over here? Looks like some pet room, some dog room. Right, this is where we have a, a full service bathing and grooming facility. Um, Richard and Susan Cleveland, who are our owners, are also certified master groomers. Um, there's only six in Tennessee and we're real lucky to have two of them in this shop. Um, and we also keep, this is also the home of um, Wellington, our mascot. He is a blue and gold macaw. Um, he has about a 75 word vocabulary. Hello, 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 hello. 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 I hope you like hello? him because otherwise he's going to start to get on your nerves after about hello? 60 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um, he he really is a, a wonderful bird, and they're wonderful animals. They're wonderful pets. Um, but we have a lot of wonderful pets that come in the shop. Um, a, a lot of a lot of children. A lot of um, you know real special family members. And um, one reason that we opened this shop is, is to kind of cater to those family members because I know my own pets, and I'm sure your pets, um, are like children. Right. They really are. Right, absolutely. I have a cat. You have a cat? Yes. Great. What's its name? Uh, it's a cat. We don't really name it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it is like a child, even though they didn't yes, give it a name. Yes, don't give it a name, but yes. Still, that you, you guys love it very much. Very much so, yes. Okay, Bonnie, I see you have a special friend there. Can you tell us your friend's name? This is Ira, and um, he is uh, a cat that's, that's visiting us this week. Um, he's very friendly. Really? Can, I, very can friendly. you pet him? Is yeah, it okay? you surely may. He's kind of a, a, a big cat. He's kind of overweight. He likes his food. <laughs> but, um, yeah. you, you kind of like that too, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, um, we take special care of cats here. This is their own private room. Um, they have a television and they watch movies all day. We have little, this carpeted tree here and they can, oh, she can climb up in there and um, he's, he may come out the top. There's a hole in the top and they can get out of the top and a lot of times they'll sit there and look out the window. We have a window in here right. and some shelves and some scratching posts and um, they can kind of get in here. It's very quiet in here um, It's when we don't have interviews and everything going on, but um, it's very quiet. It's very secluded. There are no dogs anywhere around and it's really a, a great atmosphere for them because it's very quiet. It's very small and that, that's what cats need is they need kind of security. Their own space. Yes, their own space. Um, we, uh, the cats can, when they board with us, uh, the cats can get out for a couple hours during the day by themselves or within their families. We don't necessarily socialize cats because that can sometimes get a little... Cats are kind of be finicky, as they say in the commercial. Definitely, definitely. But um, each cat, you know, has its own condo. That she's got two rooms, um, each uh, each to themselves, and it's a really nice atmosphere for them. It's, it seems very nice in here. It seems great, Jonathan. <laughs> I was just trying to play with the cat a little bit. Um, yeah, I like the cat room a lot. Okay, and we have some more things to see. Oh yeah, we have. Um, we haven't even gotten to the dog part yet. This is the, just the cat part. Okay, well, Jonathan seems to be having fun in the. The cat room himself there. 
Is that okay to tap on the gland? Yeah. We're gonna go to the dogs. Go to the dogs. Jonathan's a little scared of dogs. Can you get out? He's rock and roll. 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 This is the jungle playroom. Um, we, uh, this is our play area for dogs, and um, it's a fenced-in area, so they kind of get to get off their leashes and run around as much as they want. Um, we like to socialize dogs with some other dogs of their same size, and um, if they're real friendly and all that, and uh, most of our dogs are, so they get to get in run here with their friends and play and kind of lounge. We have a television with also playing movies, just like in the cat room. So when the dogs come in here and they socialize, it's a little bit like like high school, I guess. Just kind of, yeah. Kind of. We kind of more think of it like day camp. Right. Do you see the same kind of things happening? The same kind of like uh, like this dog is like the nerd, and this dog's like the the popular dog. I think, yeah, definitely. I, I, a certain and and that may be certain breeds too. You know, like golden retrievers are always the favorite. You know, maybe that's like high school cheerleaders or something. When I was in high school, some bullies pushed me into. A, into the lockers, and I have a scar here. Rock and roll. Come on. Rock and roll. He's a little camera shot today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the bird hates me. Birds hate me. I no, no, it's, it it's not do. you. And it's not you. Well, maybe. All right, now, Bonnie, where are we now? This is the bathing room. This is where uh, we get the soap and water on the dogs. And um, this is Kara. She's our bather, and um, she's helping Travis um, bathe Saxon. And Saxon is a Sheltie, a Shetland Sheepdog. How often do uh, should a dog be bathed? Saxon is bathed once a month. Uh, he comes and sees us once a month, and um, we also trim his hair while he's here. Um, like Kara was saying, we do use a hydro surge bath, which is kind of a, a pulsating, it's massaging, um, kind of like the shower head in your shower that you can adjust. Same type thing. And the soap is actually in the water, so we don't ever have to, um, uh, the soap actually just goes in that way, all the hair gets soapy. So everything here is like top of the line, like massaging, water. Definitely. Um, dogs are, are the, the fifth member of a lot of families. and um, the, dog seems to, the dog seems to enjoy the massage, the, the water. Yeah. <laughs> Travis, maybe you should hand it over to the professional. Come on, I don't know. That dog is going to be wrinkled. Its little dog skin is going to be pruny. We, um, we offer top-of-the-line products and toys um, for the dogs that come in here. Um, we have um, several different types of toys. Um, Travis is playing with right now. Um, That's Jonathan. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Travis. I'm sorry. Jonathan is um, playing with one of our stuffed toys, and that one actually make, makes noise. It's a little kangaroo. Yeah, so... It that's that's one of the products that you... That's one of the products that we carry. We carry those in monkeys and lions and tigers and bears. I noticed, what is this here, if I may? That is a pig ear, and it is a genuine pig ear from a pig. Um, do, I wouldn't need it if I were you. This is a leather jacket for a dog, and you just kind of put it over. Like, if you want to stick your arm out, I can... Okay, this is, this is, pretend like this is... You kind of just put it on there, and then your head, your little head sticks out there. And it oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's got a little belt. Yeah. To help Jonathan, you put the little belt that goes around like that, kind of like an aviator jacket, and um, and these are really, really warm for the winter time, and they're oh. they look really good, and you may want to be careful oh, there. Yeah, and I did I break it? No, you, yeah, actually, you, you did. You broke it. <laughs> oh no! Did you tear it up? No, it's not all right. I'm no, sorry. That's fine. We didn't mean. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, wasn't that great? Did you have a great time there? I sure did. Bonnie seemed like a very nice young lady. Very nice, very informative, very helpful, full uh, of energy and insight. It was a great, great uh, segment, and we can't thank uh, Safari Pet Resort enough. Where, it, where the pets... Where pets go on adventure. Where we had an adventure, and um, it's time to go. I'm upset about not seeing a llama. Well, maybe next time. Maybe. Okay, let's... Okay. Get up a little bit. Oh, oh, um, here's a uh, Craig 9000 from the year 2020.
I'm Travis Harmon. And I'm Jonathan Shockley. And today on the show, we have the most amazing guest I think so far we've ever had. I am amazed that we have this guest, that our bookers could get them. Uh, it's a very special guest. He's from the future. From the future. You wouldn't think that you could have people from the future, but uh, it's a, uh, we'll have to ask him how he got here. That's a story in itself. <laughs> right. And so we're very excited about having our future guest on the show today. Oh. He's from the year 2020. 2020. And his name is Craig9000. Craig here. Yeah. Craig 9000, it is such an honor to, for you to be here. Thank you so much. So, you are in the year 2020. That is where you're from. That is correct. Now, how did you get here to the studio today? Well, I teleported myself back here. The advances in medicine, like is there still cancer and AIDS and such diseases in the future, or are all those cured? Uh, AIDS has been cured. Also, most cancers have been cured, although there are just a few left. Uh, what few cancers are left, out of curiosity, what would, that, what would those few remnants be? Uh, lymphoma, which we are aggressively tackling. Great. That's fantastic. Great. What about um, flying cars? No, we have, no, we don't have those. We don't need, we don't need automobiles. We teleportate. Yeah, you already told us that. You teleportate. But people like to drive, and I thought maybe for the weekends and stuff, they might get into their flying cars and go on trips. No, that's not correct. Oh. I guess, I guess I was misinformed. Well, you don't know, because you don't, can't see in the future. Now, I notice you have this, is this a weapon? Because you said there's no wars in the future. I'm just curious, this device, if you could hold it up for the camera, what you have there. Now, is that a, a, a weapon of some kind, a futuristic? Well, it's, uh, yes, that is for, uh, this is my laser gun. Oh, okay. That's great. So, yeah. Now, what do you use that on to, like, uh, just to scare people away? Well, we use it to scare animals away. That oh. Animals, it will not hurt them. It only will uh, give them a light burning sensation. <laughs> oh. so just got to give them a little sting. I, That's correct. Are there races of giant mutant super animals in the future? No, there's not. So what kind of animals would you want to, you know, would you use your ray stinger on? I mean, what animals cause trouble in the future, if you don't mind me asking? Well, uh, we have trouble with elephants and giraffes. Wow, <laughs> elephants and giraffes. You wouldn't think that because so they're on, they're on the, they're eyes. Oh, well, also, we also have a bad problem with uh, uh, warthogs, real bad. Wow, warthogs. That's amazing. Now, what about music? What kind of music are they playing in the year 2020? Well, we play electronic music, synthesized music. Really, like the Moog, or is that? That is correct. So, a lot of Moog music. Well, Moog is what I call it. What's your favorite song in the year 2020? Uh, Frankenstein. I know I've got other questions, and like you, I'm going to regret not asking them, but we really do have to move to another segment. I know you're from the future, Craig 9000, but we do really have to. We're nearly, we're nearly out of time. Craig, I would just like to give you a formal invitation to return. Would you come back and see us sometime on the show in the future? Oh, yes, but it'll be a total surprise. He will never know, will we? <laughs> Did you add a pun? We come back to see us in the future, and that's where right. he's from. <laughs> well, all right then. This has been the best time ever. I, this is the most amazing guest, Craig Nine Thousand. Can we give you a little hug? Oh yes. Oh. I'm not getting anything. I smell it. I, I, I can smell, smell it. it. The wind's blowing this way, but you can smell it if you. I smell something, and it's. It's tangy, like tartar sauce, but I don't know. No, it's the. 
I'm not sure if that's coming from the lamp or the thistles. Oh, but Craig 9000 from the year 2020. Boy, that was some some heady stuff, huh? See, when I'm at home in the apartment, it's not, well, obviously it's not outdoors. And you can, I mean, you can, it fills up the room. I mean, it's not like I have a big apartment. You've been there. I mean, it's like, you can smell it. But outdoors, I just didn't, I didn't think. Right. But I mean, if you get down, well, over I'm it. getting, wait. I mean, it's a nice lamp. No, it's, just get a big, a big, Okay. I just let, it's maybe not even enough. Maybe not. Maybe you just let it. Maybe we need some more time. Then you put it in the right. I put in the right. Yeah. Put in the right person. We have for you a great new comedian on the scene. We have a great new comedian on the scene here. His name is Sam Tyndall. Sam Tyndall, funny man, Sam Tyndall. He's been taking uh, the, the local comedy clubs by storm. He's doing very well, and we're just happy to have him here on the show. Right, and now he's gonna tickle your funny bone he like will. he tickles ours. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam, Sam Tyndall. Tyndall. And Albert Gore joke. And Albert Gore gets on the top of the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the bull. Bull gets on top of Al Gore and, and, and the little buddy dog the fire goes and the fire hose flowing. And the little the little skunk gets inside the train and it, it, it's uh runs over the turtle and the squirrel toe and the, the little the little skunk go back and go to the home beach depot shelf and get a, a nail gun and shut it back on. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the video goat and the video goat and the, the video goat and you know how you get his horn shot? They take a, a <laughs> yeah. grinder and you grind him and shot him. That's all. Camera at you. Sam, you know what it means when on a talk show they bring you over to the couch if you're a comedian? It means they really thought you did a great job, and you did a great job. You were fantastic. Sam, you were great. Funny. We heard a lot of good stuff about you. We came to the club, checked you out. We said, we've got to have this guy on the show. Right, and I'm very happy about it. I'm too. happy about it. I'm happy. We're God. happy that you're here. That's fantastic. Here. Sam, tell, answer me this question. Can you smell this lamp? Because I, I've been trying. It's to. an aroma lamp. It's an aroma We add the beads into it. My neck, uh, I can't smell. Whatever my nose is stuffed up like, like an onion patch. Pop, Your nose pop, is patch. stuffed up like, like an, an onion patch. patch. <laughs> pop pop patch. Pop pop patch. <laughs> the jokes never stop. Sam, how you. do you do it? How do you do it? How, uh, because obviously you're really funny. And people do it. They must have done this all the time. And how do I start? No, You got a pretty big following. I notice a yeah, lot of young I mean, ladies come to your shows a lot. It's yeah, like, kind of yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always like my joke. I'll sit down and study every day. I'll pick up a skill every day. That's how I do it. Right? That's great. So you study you study joke books? Or yeah, you... I take them one at a time. Huh. See, this... One at a time. One day at a time. That's a good philosophy. Like Saturday and Sunday, I'll take a, I'll take a, I'll take a joke. That is terrific. That's fantastic. Yeah. That is terrific. If you want to stick around, we have a band coming up that you might like. Have you heard of the, oh, the Sextronics? The Sextronics, a great band around here. Have you heard of them? No. Oh, they're pretty They're good. fantastic. They're great. I don't know we're about their them. name. It's a little racy, but... Uh, we're guys, gonna... guys, wait. I can try it. Try it. Try orange, it. orange. I can smell no, it. No, I put it in the... I can smell it. Can you smell it now? It smells like a cherry pop-up pop, pop, ass. See, I smelled orange. <laughs> it smells like a cherry pop-up pop, pop, ass. Smell like orange grove. But you can smell it. Too. Orange grove. Yeah, that's what I was smelling. What did you smell? It? Well, I put in vanilla. Well, maybe they're mixed up. No, this is orange. Uh, Sextronics. Sextronics. Fantastic Sextronics. band. Sextronics. 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 You want to hang out with us and, and watch, watch the, the band, band and we'll see how it goes? I gotta go. contentos a ver a una china y un charro que bailan esta fiesta no deben perder un mariachi el jarabe ya toca vengan todos contentos a ver a una china y un charro que bailan esta fiesta no deben perder 
Hay que ver con qué gracia se baila, el Jalisco no es uno en el norte, el jarabe ya tiene su fama, nos contagia verlo bailar. Hay que ver con qué gracia se baila, si el Jalisco no es uno en el norte, el jarabe ya tiene su fama, nos contagia verlo bailar. Un mariacho el jarabe ya toca, vengan todos contentos a ver a una china y un charro que bailan, esta fiesta no deben perder. Contigo linda yo quiero bailar, contigo linda yo quiero bailar, que si no bailas también, que si no bailas también, muy enojado estaré y a tu lado nunca volveré. Contigo linda yo quiero bailar, contigo linda yo quiero bailar, que si no bailas también, que si no bailas también, muy enojado estaré y a tu lado nunca volveré. Can you smell it? Yeah, I smell it. I smell it. I do smell it. I smell yeah, it too. I smell it. I smell it. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. Good. I mean, I took the whole show to get it going, but right. I knew it was good. I knew. Yeah, turn it like a roller to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you call this? What kind of therapy? It's an aromatherapy lamp. We have aromatherapy. Already, aromatherapy. I don't have to repeat myself. I'm just excited about it, and I, you know, you know why. But anyway, uh, the Six Tronics, they were fantastic. What'd you Woo! think? They were pretty good bands. I, I like it. I like it. I really like it. It was like pretty it. good. Pretty good. I really like it. Like well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I now. really like the show. Great. Thank you. Well, we we really like having you on as our, our comedy guest. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you get some new material and the next time you're in town, you come back and be on the show again. Okay. Appreciate okay. It. It'll be fantastic. Great. Okay. This Great. is really going now. This is really going. Can you smell? I mean... Right. Oh, Sam, could you do one thing for us? Yeah. Could you, could you look into our old pal camera there and just go, now it's time to end the show. And end the show. Goodbye. Hey, 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 hey. And end the show. Rest in peace. 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 Say, Travis, do you have a cigarette lighter? Why, sure I do, Jonathan. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Tell it to me, Craig says, don't smoke. Check it out now, Craig Davidson here once again with letters from viewers like you. Dear Craig, oh, this one's for me. I enjoy you and Travis, or you on the Travis and Jonathan show, but maybe you can help me out with this situation that I've encountered. My girlfriend and I have been dating for about three years, but she won't communicate. Uh, I tell her, she, I can tell she's upset lately, but uh, when I ask her what's the matter, she won't answer. Craig, do you think she's cheating on me? Signed, Brad Moore. Brad, definitely. This is 100% correct. She is definitely cheating on you. And uh, this female, if you want to call it that, looks lower than snake feces in the bottom of the ocean. And uh, I just want to tell you, it's time to, you know, don't let, don't let her butt hit her in the, in the, going out the back door. So you just move on and get you another woman and you take care. Remember, we want to hear from you, viewers like you. Please email us at Jonathan and Travis at hotmail.com. Remember, child care begins with prenatal care. And Travis and Jonathan want you to call the local March of Dimes office nearest you for more information. Please do it. Thank you and good day. <laughs>